Which colors give the same gray of the black and white filter? Short answer, considering a color as a combination of red, green and blue values, all the colors that give the same gray with the black and white filter pass this equation, where alpha, beta and gamma are constants, and x the grain question. If you represented these colors in a 3D space where the red, green and blue were the axis, they would form planes defined in a cubic volume, each plane associated with a gray. Long answer? Let me explain. Hey guys, Big3 here. To answer that question, first let's talk about how the grayscale is determined when applying a black and white filter to an image. Considering a color as a vector, a set of three components, red, green and blue, RGB, the grayscale is determined by applying a dot product between the color vector and a multiplier vector, which represents how much each red, green and blue component contributes to the grayscale. Yes, each one of them does not contribute to the grayscale equally. For example, if you take a pure red, a pure green, a pure blue, and apply a black and white filter to them, you will probably see the difference. This is where the multiplier vector comes in. Big brain mathematicians determine how much each RGB component contributed to the grayscale, and they associated that to some factors. Well, they have not reached a consensus yet, since there exists a lot of different standards, but the most widely used for grayscale determination is the recommendation 709, with 0.2126 for the red, 0.7152 for the green, and 0.0722 for the blue. In other words, red contributes to around 21% of the grayscale, green 72%, and blue 7%. Put these values in a vector, and you will get what I call the multiplier vector. As I said before, to get the grayscale of a color, you must apply a dot product between the color vector and the multiplier vector. It is basically the sum of the term by term multiplication. If you put the result in the R, G, and B components, you will obtain the gray associated to the color. Okay, we got the gray, that's great. But that's not what we are asking. We want to know all the colors that give the same gray. Let's think backward. Let's take any gray for the example. We can deduce the grayscale from it. Now remember, the grayscale is the dot product between the color vector and the multiplier vector. We already know the multiplier vector, but we don't know the color one, so let's put some variables instead. Now, we can try to naively resolve this equation, and there are plenty of solutions. For example, this color works, or this one, or this one, or you guessed it, there are a lot of them. Since the grayscale may not vary during the process, the only thing we can do here is to express one of the RGB variables as a function of the rest. Let's take the green for example. Given a grayscale, a red and blue components, the green component will be equal to that expression. For example, to get the grayscale 156, if the red component is equal to 45 and the blue component is equal to 176, the green component will be equal to, big math moment, 187. But there are 16,581,375 colors possible, so we are definitely not going to try them all. Or are we? When I say we, I'm not truly referring to you or me, but to good old-fashioned brute force computing. So, let's write a C++ program that does exactly that. Happy? Well, unless you can read colors directly in RGB. Not really. Wait, can you? Jokes aside, it's cool but quite unusual for now. What is the point of computing colors without being able to see them? Let's visualize them instead. Rewind time. Don't you notice something special about this equation? Yes, I'm sure you've seen it already. This equation is the Cartesian equation of a plane. In other words, if the red, green, and blue components represented a 3D space, all the colors that give the same gray would form a plane. Theoretically, there are an infinite number of solutions, since a plane is infinite, but the RGB values can only exist between 0 and 255, which defines a cubic volume where this plane can exist. All the planes associated with each grayscale value would then fill this cube. Now remember, we already kind of know the green component value depending on the grayscale and the red and blue components. So, let's make these three vary. The idea is determining four vertex positions of each plane in the RGB space to actually see 
these planes. Let's begin with the grey 167 for example. Let's start with 0 for the red and 0 for the blue. Applying the formula allows us to get the first vertex position. Now, let's repeat this process with 0 for the red and 255 for the blue, 255 for the red and 0 for the blue, and 255 for both. And voila, here is the plane of colors that give the grey 167. If we repeat this process for every grey possible, we get all the planes of colors that give the same grey for each grey from pure black to pure white. So, to finally answer the question, which colors give the same grey with a black and white filter, the answer is many. You can find the code and Unity project in description as well as the shader in shader toy I made for you to see colors that give the same grey more easily, all links in description. This video is a bit unusual, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know in the comment section. As usual, consider liking and subscribing, and don't forget to check out the Discord server if you want. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, my friends. Bye!